Hello friends, welcome back to another video. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Nicole and this week's video is going to be a travel related video. I'm so excited to say that in a couple of days, I will be heading off to New York City. It's my first time. I'm going with my mom who has been before but when she was really really young. So it'll be a really really fun exciting adventure. So I'm excited to bring you guys along. So stay tuned for that vlog. But this week's video is going to be a tip and tricks kind of thing and it's going to be my five travel essentials. So right now you guys are catching me as I'm doing my to-do list in my notebook. I'm writing down all of the clothes, um, toiletries, snacks, everything that I need to bring. It's a four day, three night trip. And what is really unique about this trip is that we are actually not flying, we are going to be driving and we're going to be taking one of those like coach buses and we're going with like a tour company. So we just thought it would be something different. Why not instead of flying and you know, trying to fill our days with different tours and museums, this way we know where everything is, we get to see everything and we get to kind of choose the things that we really want to see more in depth. So just something different. So it is currently Wednesday and we are leaving on Friday. So we leave Friday, it's about half a day of traveling um, and then we will arrive at our hotel and uh, this tour is going to be very very touristy because we are going to be uh, waking up and having breakfast and then we're going to be in New York from 8 a.m. until 8 p.m. So there will be no going back to the hotel for an outfit change or shoe change or anything like that So you really have to be prepared You really want to just pack the essentials So that's why I kind of wanted to make this video for this type of trip I'm going to finish my what I need to bring list and then I will get into essential number one So tip number one is to find a good overnight bag. Now since this is only a three day trip, or four day trip, three nights, I'm deciding to bring just something very um, carry on like for like if you were to take a flight or something like that. This bag I've had for years, it's awesome. It's from Air Canada, super, super durable. And I like that it has like a, a long strap so you can put it around your shoulders but then it also has like the little two straps so you can carry it like that as well super super good has lots of space and has a nice big pocket so good overnight bag that you can pack lots of stuff and it won't feel super heavy so tip number two is to pack light now the motto of this trip for me is going to be comfort is key because we're going to be doing a lot of walking a lot of traveling and i just want to be in my most comfortable state really so i have laid out a couple of outfits that i'm going to be bringing and i will show you guys what they look like so we'll start off with the outfit that i'm probably going to wear on the bus so it's going to be this outfit with these really nice gray shorts that are very comfortable super cute love that they're a little bit high-waisted they are from H&M and then as well as the shirt is from H&M and it is just this like t-shirt this beige t-shirt everything I need to iron by the way it's just a beige t-shirt that I'm going to be wearing with these shorts so very comfortable very light uh, the first day of traveling is probably going to be pretty hot, so I'm thinking of wearing this oversized Friends t-shirt from H&M and these biker shorts that I got from Old Navy just underneath, just something very casual, and then I'd be wearing them with sneakers. I brought, also brought this t-shirt dress that I also got from H&M, super cute with the pink, and then I would probably pair it with these purple um, bicycle shorts underneath that you probably wouldn't be able to see so that's why I brought them 
I brought an extra pair of leggings to bring in my bag while we're traveling just in case it does get cold or I'm just uncomfortable in any of these outfits. I can throw these in my bag and just whip them on anytime. I have brought two sports bras. I'm probably going to add another once I'm done my laundry just for underneath. My pajamas, so just like a t-shirt, uh, tank top, and shorts. I have this crew neck sweater and I might bring one with a hoodie but I do have this windbreaker that's with a hoodie so I should be okay. This is just like in case it rains or anything like that and that is probably going to be the majority of my clothes so very simple very light and I will catch you guys for tip number three. Tip number three is to pack very comfortable shoes. So I've decided on these two. These are Skechers, so they'll be very, very lightweight and comfortable. These are just kind of for added cuteness with the little gold and they're white and they are from Forever 21. We're gonna be doing a lot of walking. So shoes are very important. <laughs> so tip number four is to prepare for all kinds of weather. Now it is still summer in New York, so it is gonna be really hot. But you never know with the rain, so I have this K-Swiss windbreaker jacket that is awesome. It's perfect. It's really long and it fits me perfectly. The hood is great, so I'm going to pack that in my luggage and include that in as well. So a nice windbreaker jacket, anything that is going to keep you a little bit warmer because you never know, right? You never know what the weather is going to be like. could bring a torrential downpour for all we know. So you want to be prepared and a jacket is always a good way to go. So that's all the packing done. My plan for tomorrow is to get all of the snacks that we are going to need for the long bus trip there and back. So I will take you guys along with me on that adventure and then we will discuss tip number five, which will be the last one. Hello friends, happy Thursday. Super excited because we are leaving tomorrow. I wanted to show you guys the snacks that I got today because we all know I love to snack. <laughs> so I'll show you guys those right now. So these are the snacks that we're gonna be bringing for on the way there, and then we'll probably pick up some, we're definitely stopping for lunch and all that too, so I might grab a few things when we cross the border, but this is what we have so far. If you guys have never seen these, they're pretty popular on Instagram. They're the RX bars. We can't get them um, in like boxes, but we can buy them individually here in where I live. And I really, really like them. My favorite is the chocolate sea salt. So, so good. This is what's in them. So three egg whites, six almonds, four cashews, two dates, no BS. I love that. And it's 12 grams of protein in this one little bar. My mom and I love these. And then we got this skinny pop, these and then we got these mini cakes from Skinny Pop. I really like their popcorn. And I never tried these, so I just thought that the mini cakes would be kind of cool. They're kind of like the pop chips, but maybe a little less um, salty. Okay, guys, so I showed you all the snacks that we are bringing. I am just finishing up packing, and then I'm going to go see my boyfriend to say goodbye. And then we are heading out. So I will see you guys tomorrow morning, bright and early. What's up, guys? 
Good morning. This will work great for on the bus and it's just great to have your own thing that smells like home and reminds you home. So I just like bringing it. And I'm going to end the video here and I'm going to start doing the New York vlog. So I will see you guys next week. If you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel because I upload a brand new video every Sunday. Next Sunday will probably be the New York vlog. Let me know in the comments below if you have your own travel tips so we can all share them and be really savvy at travel. It's not easy to travel and pack for some people, so any, any tips or tricks will help. I hope you all have a wonderful week, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!